Hallelujah. So the Lord is calling us. The world is in darkness. So what? The people are covered with the darkness. So what? Your call, your mission cannot be changed. God never changes. Why are you changing? Are you prepared to rise up? Are you prepared to offer yourself into the fire? To be burnt? That you may shine? That you may be witness? Like John, God is calling us. If to have this kind of life, how can we rise up? That we may shine, we may be a witness. Number one, we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 52 verse 2. If you go to rise up, if you go to shine, if you go to be a witness, what you need to do? Read Isaiah 52 2. Read fast. This much time. Shake yourself from the dust. Shake off your dust. Yes. Rise up. Ah. O captive, Jerusalem. You have become a captive. Your mind is captured. Maybe mind is captured with sadness. Maybe your mind is captured with fear. Maybe your mind is captured with laziness. Maybe your mind is captured with the evil habits of drinking alcohol or doing something, watching pornography, watching all kinds of things. Your mind is caught up. You have to realize your mind is caught up. You have to rise up now. Read once again that word. Shake yourself from so the So you dust. have to shake up. You have to get... Get out of that mind. You have to come out of that habit. Nobody will do it. You have to shake up that dust. Otherwise it will remain with you. Today is the dust. Tomorrow it will become dirt. If you don't dust it out today, tomorrow it will become a dirt. And it will be tomorrow, it will spoil where it is lying. If it is on the camera, the camera will get spoiled. If it is on the speaker, speaker itself will go away. If it is on the wood, the wood itself will go away. So, the Lord is calling. If you go to rise up, check yourself. What type of dust that is falling on you? From where all the dust is falling? From whom all the dust is falling on you? You have to check your life. Shake up those dust. Shake up those sin. Shake up those people who lead you to sin. Shake up those people who are making you to talk unwanted talks. Wasting all your time. Shake up all those habits. Shake up all those thoughts. That make you to think you are waste. You are not waste. You are the child of God. You are called to burn. You are called to shine. You are called to be a witness for him. He has trusted and chosen you. If you choose him, learn to burn. Learn to shine. Learn to be witness. Yes. You got to see your dust. What type of dust is falling you? And you got to shake it off. Get away. I don't need it. You have to raise up your cloth and put it. Shake up. <laughs> you have to shake up yourself. Read once again. 52 take to shake yourself from the dust. Uh, from the dust. You have to shake up yourself. Yes. Rise up, O captive Jerusalem. So you have become a captive. So many things have captured you. Maybe some people have captured you. Maybe some imagination has captured you. Maybe some habits have captured you. Maybe some way of thinking has captured you. Some way of life. You got to get up. The Lord said to Abraham in the book of Isaiah 
sorry in the book of genesis chapter 22 rise up and take your son it was early morning he has to rise up the boy after born after so many years 100th year no god is calling get up my son no daddy sarah might have said the boy is sleeping can't you see why are you disturbing him he is not going to listen to her because god has told the boy is no daddy i can't no if he is not put it on his head and he's, you have to rise up you have to come out of the dust you have to dust it up nobody will dust you yes rise up because you have become captured you have become captured you have become a prisoner you have become a prisoner read the book of sakaria chapter 9 verse 12 on the prisoner oh you are a prisoner you are expecting for a release why you are child of god how did you fall into that man who captured you when you go when a man goes for stealing it's a evil they know but he has given little pleasure little money little enjoyment but you never bother about it dust became dirt and you were going on stealing you are caught you are thrown into the jail your name fame everything is gone you are captured don't allow that to happen god is warning don't allow that to happen to you take care oh captured yes return to your god return to your stronghold you have a stronghold you have a fortress where you are safe where you are protected where even if you are nothing you will be provided don't lose that protection don't lose that stronghold rise up enter into the, your stronghold you are captured is it your call is it your life you who is captured rise up and enter into your stronghold read it completely once again some another translation please return to your fortress return to your fortress you have a fortress be aware you have a fortress god has not left you to die in your sin to die in your weakness to die in your evil no he has given you a fortress enter get up and enter into your fortress o prisoners o prisoners who wait in expectation yeah in, when you are in prison you expect who will deliver me who will save me when will be that once i had gone to preach to rajamandri and that ocd father he told me there is a servant of god in the jail i said servant of god in the jail when i went there he cried he cried i thought it is only fun i thought nobody will know just chalta hai until it is that lady with whom i was playing she put me with a case and i am caught up and my diocese has thrown me out i don't know what will be my future i don't know my people my brother send me the message don't ever come back to our village you have brought humiliation for us don't come back oh prisoner dust it's the time to remove the dust if you don't remove your sin if you don't the dust that captures you the time will come you you will you can do nothing 
So the Lord is calling, number one, rise up. Dust off yourself and return to your fortress. You have a fortress. Still you are in the time of grace. Still you are in the place of grace. Still you are in the time. This is the precious time to build up yourself with anointing. 24 hours speaking with a tongue, with the empowered. When Paul fell on the dust, he rose with the power as an apostle. 